Hi, welcome to Piston once more. And today we'd like to introduce you to the all new Ranger. This, this is the truck that brought truck culture to Malaysia many years ago. And as you can see, it's got a bold new look which uh, is dominated by a very large front grille. This eye-changing thing metric LED lights which uh, are taken from the F-Series, the best-selling truck in the world. And of course, from afar, it's a visual signature to the Ranger. Uh, seven versions of the Ranger available from 108,888 until 162,888. And under the bonnet, there are two choices of engines, both of which are familiar and proven engines. Uh, two liter bi turbo diesel and uh, two liter single turbo, turbo diesel. Both of these engines can run on a B20 biodiesel, so you can basically pick up any, uh, go to any station now and pick the B20 biodiesel, uh, especially those that, that are by BH Patrol. Before we move on, let's hear a word from our sponsors. There are many different brands of fuels out there. You can either get it right where it works for life or you can get it incredibly wrong. And that's where BH Petrol and its Infinity Round 95 and Round 97 Euro 4M are different from the rest. How is it different, you may ask? Well, BH Petrol uses the latest generation German additives to provide the perfect support for modern engines. This additive is specially formulated to work with modern engines. It's designed to keep your fuel injectors clean and to prevent them from blocking up. Besides that, the Infinity Ron 95 and Infinity Ron 97 Euro 4M fuels also have enhanced corrosion inhibitors. These range of petrols also reduce friction between the piston and the engine walls. This translates into reduced energy loss, giving you instant and consistent fuel savings. And that is why you will never go wrong with BH Petrol's Infinity Round 95 and Round 97 Euro 4M. It is the right choice. As you can see, it's still a Ranger, recognizably as a Ranger. But what they've done is that they've lengthened the wheelbase by 50 mm and they've also widened the tracks by 50 mm. Widening of the tracks pushes the wheels further out to increase the space for the bodywork. And also, it reduces the overhangs with the longer wheelbase. And when you come towards the back, you find an interesting feature here. A side step, which you don't see in other trucks. And according to one of the engineers on the project, they found that there were a lot of people who couldn't reach in when they want to get something. They have to climb on the step here. So what the Ford people have done is to put a little step here and it's so easy to come in and you can just reach in and get things out. So it's a very clever idea and they say that they got the idea from watching actual owners of the Ranger uh, use their truck and talking to I think they talked to about 5,000 owners to find out what people really use their truck for and what they need. Now, come on around to the back. As you can see, at the back, they put this uh, panel here. Since the second generation Ranger, they made the brand uh, logo bigger and now they stamp the words here, Ranger, which adds to the rugged image. And just like the front, they've uh, this like C-shaped uh, graphic for the rear tail light, uh, which is very eye-catching, of course. And from afar, you'll know it's a Ranger straight away. One of the things I've always liked about the Ranger since the last uh, generation is that they've got this easy lift thing. You can see with one hand, I can lift it up and down. And it's because they put a torsion bar in there 
to help the person lift it up and down. So it's very light. With other trucks, you find that it's very heavy and you've got to use two hands. So now you can just use one hand and open it. Apart from having a wider cargo bed, what they've done is that they've designed this area to be like a workbench. So you can do your work here, you can have a picnic, and they also have somewhere here a power socket for you. So you can connect a laptop or you can collect a lamp or some uh, tools, electrical tools. And that makes the Ranger a much more useful truck. Not just a truck, but also a place where you can do your work anywhere uh, in the countryside. Although um, trucks have been around in Malaysia for a long time, the truck culture did not start until the late 1990s. Because before then, people couldn't buy trucks for private use. They couldn't you know, do what they do now and register it privately. The regulations only allowed uh, trucks to be bought for commercial use. So you had to have a company to uh, own a truck and you could only use it for commercial purposes. You couldn't go down to the beach or anywhere like that. In the late 1990s, uh, a JPJ changed the rules to allow private registration, initially for double caps like this one, uh, and then later on they allowed single caps to be registered. And around that time, Ford introduced the Ranger. It was actually introduced, uh, I think, 1997 or 1998, which was, of course, perfect timing because the Ford was representing a new generation of pickup trucks. They've been doing, Ford has been doing trucks for over 100 years, but the Ranger was specially developed for the ASEAN market and it was designed to be more like an ASEAN car. That's Ford's idea and they made it more like a car. So it was just the right timing for Ford to come into the market, the Mal Malaysian market, and everyone loved it. And people began to see it as an alternative to the passenger car. And also because uh, it was cheaper, it was very popular. And at one time, the Granger accounted for more than 50% of trucks sold in Malaysia. So the Ranger has a very uh, long history of popularity in the Malaysian market and with each generation they've obviously made it better. And one of the things about um, the Ranger is that right from the start Ford made sure that safety was a priority. My friends in Thailand told me that when the Ranger first came out it had things like airbags, uh, and other safety features which the other trucks didn't have because at that time the truck was only viewed as a commercial vehicle and um, the other car makers didn't think much of the importance of safety as it was mainly used off-road but Ford treated it as a passenger car and in fact when you think about it the more as time went by trucks began to be used uh, on roads more, so the amount of safety that they had to have would be the same as a passenger car. So Ford has been leading the market in terms of safety for the truck market and today it's still a leader because it has introduced things like advanced driver assistance system where you've got the same sort of safety systems as in a passenger car, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping, automatic braking, all these features you find in modern passenger cars today, at least uh, many of the newer ones. And Ford is one of the few that actually has it as well. Uh, not in all the versions, but it's still a leader in that respect. So the Ford Ranger, as they say, is the truck that brought trucking culture to Malaysia and it's nice to see the latest version continuing that story. Now we're inside the new Ford Ranger and as you can see 
it's just like a passenger car. In fact, if I didn't tell you that it's a uh, truck, you would think it's a passenger car. And that's really the idea behind each generation of the uh, Ranger. They try to make it more and more like a passenger car. And this version, they've tried to make it more and more like an SUV. And um, what you find here is this vertical panel which is a tablet light thing and I think they got the idea from the Mark E sports car and here the, this uh, instrument panel is now fully digital display I think in the last one they also had it but now they've gone to digital graphic display which allows the driver to personalize it a bit to suit the sort of information that he wants to see and over here you find that the shifter is uh, quite a conventional type but what you can't see is on this side is the manual mode which Ford likes to do and I'm told that in American cars it's a very popular idea where they put this other people have shifters here, pedal shifters but they put it down here what is new is this rotary dial which uh, has one, two, three, four four drive modes in this there's up to six in the Raptor which you'll hear about later on and it's very easy to select the drive modes now in the old days we had to stop the vehicle and we had to move a second lever to get four wheel drive or two wheel drive now with this we just turn the knob and you get it automatically so convenient <coughs> The other thing that's new in this is an electric parking brake, see? And it's so easy to use because you just lift it up like that. Yeah. Whereas uh, in you know, other trucks, you have a, a brake lever that you have to lift up and down. Of course, this is the Wild Track version which has this feature. Some of the others that cost less will not have this feature. There's a lot of storage space inside the Ranger. There's always been a lot of storage space and you'll find that a glove box which is a bit small here. You also find another level here to put little things. And as I said, they talk to a lot of customers which is important to find out how people actually use their truck and what they want. And that's the reason why a Ranger, if you look at it closely, you'll find that it's really very functional in almost every respect because they found out that what real customers want and they've given many of those features that have been asked for. And now let's have a look at the back seat. Just like the front, you'll find that the back seat is just like a passenger car. In fact, just as spacious and it even has vents here for cooling air. It's got isofix points for child seat if you have children and everybody has a seat belt. Should you need extra space or you have something that you can't put in the back, it's very easy. You can convert this area into a load area as well very easily by just pulling this and you have a nice flat area secure locked inside the car to put your belongings so that's it for the ranger for now and as soon as we can get a truck for testing we'll tell you more about it how it performs and how it feels on the road uh, in the meantime Sime Derby Auto Connection is going to have a series of events to introduce the new Ranger to in various parts of Malaysia. And if you want to get an invitation to those events, just visit the Ford website at www.sdacford.com.my and they'll give you an invitation and tell you what time to go. And then you can personally have a look at the new Ford Ranger yourself.